First of all, Israel is an occupying power, and no occupier can claim self-defense against its uh, victims and, and the people under its occupation and oppression, number one. So this whole excuse of self-defense has been used repeatedly to bash, slaughter, massacre the Palestinians. There is no self-defense here. And of course, what Israel is doing is uh, uh, genocide, and it should be held to account on that basis. And they never, never uh, respected or implemented international law, including the laws of war, even though it was Israel that unilaterally declared war on on Gaza, on a population that that is really defenseless, that has already been mm -hmm. held captive for decades, bare, with the bare minimum requirements of life, and of course uh, now totally uh, helpless and at the mercy of this uh, again this this slaughter and and uh, merciless killing. Uh, Mr. Shrawi, not for the first time has. Uh not condemned, not even mentioned October 7th, the reason for Israel to launch this war against Hamas, in which 1,200 Israelis were slaughtered, beheaded some of them, women raped, 250 Israeli civilians abducted, and still 136 are held in Gaza. Uh, horrendous atrocities committed by Hamas, which warranted an Israeli uh, reaction. Now, uh, Many things that Ashrawi said, I, I totally reject. It's not genocide. You know, we can debate whether Israel's use of force is excessive or expansive. Uh, there may be a debate about that. Israel abides by international treaties. Israel is not committing genocide. Is With the regard to the ICJ discussions and deliberations, Israel is fully cooperating with the ICJ and will continue to cooperate. And 